Hi, I'm Chef Matt Bolas with the Art Institute of Charleston for thepostandcourier.com. And today we're going to do a tandoori and styled baked chicken dish. Okay, so this dish is full of bright flavors. Healthy January cooking for people who are trying to keep up with their New Year's resolutions. Has bright flavors, lots of spice, uh, even for those who don't like spice. Uh, it's not hot, it just has a lot of bold flavors. So, a little bit of olive oil in a bowl, about a quarter of a cup, third of a cup. And what you want to do is take a tablespoon of smoked paprika. If you don't have any smoked paprika, regular paprika will be fine. A tablespoon of ground cumin, and about a half a teaspoon or so of red pepper flakes. For those of you who do like spicy food, you can always add more red pepper flakes to enhance that. Also, about a tablespoon or so of fresh lime juice. Give that a good mix and you'll get this vibrant bright red color. We've got four boneless skinless chicken breast right here. And I like to wear a glove for this just because it tends to get messy and the spices will stain your fingers for quite some time, no matter how many times you wash them. And you're just gonna simply dip the chicken breast in and into a baking dish. A nine by 13 brownie pan or casserole dish will be just fine. The material doesn't matter, glass, aluminum, stainless, anything. You just wanna make sure that your spices get nice and coated onto the chicken. From there, we're gonna to mix together our accompaniments. If needed, you can see in the pan is not a lot of olive oil left. You can add a little bit more so that everything gets nice and coated. We're going to add chickpeas to start. As much as you want, usually for four servings, about two cups will do. Uh, red onions, and I choose red because they have a little bit more spice to them as far as uh, pepperiness, and they're not as sweet as regular white onions, though if you prefer white onions, obviously they will work just fine and cherry tomatoes that have been simply sliced in half. About a cup of those. We're gonna take this, mix it all together nice and thoroughly into the olive oil and spice mix. Then we are going to simply pour that all over the top of our chicken. We're going to give it a nice pinch of salt over the top for seasoning. You can add cracked black pepper at this point if you like, uh, though I prefer just the actual spices of the dish itself. Cover with aluminum foil. And we're going to bake this in a 450 degree oven for roughly 20 minutes. Though depending on the size of the chicken breast, it may take a little more time, it may take a little bit less time. So while that's in the oven, we're gonna prepare a yogurt sauce to go with the dish. Today I'm using Greek yogurt, although you can use sour cream or regular yogurt if you prefer. We're going to use the same spices that we used on the chicken. So once again, smoked paprika, fresh ground cumin, and just a touch of chili flake. We're also going to add a pinch of salt, a little bit of olive oil again, just for the nice flavor that it provides, a little citrus flavor from the olives and a little bit of fresh lime juice for some more acidity. Just give it a good mix. The other thing that we're gonna put on there is a quick pickled red onion, which is what I've reserved the rest of the lime juice for. And simply, all you have to do is take your onions, drop them in the lime juice, and we're going to add a little bit of cumin to go with it. Cumin and limes and red onions love each other. It's like a marriage made in heaven. So we're just gonna drop that in there. About a half a teaspoon and a pinch of salt. And we're gonna let that sit until the chicken's done. All right, so our chicken is done. Pulled it out of the oven. Thank you, Junie. Careful when you remove the foil, steam will get you. So you can see that it just baked up nice and golden and then carefully slice it, being, care being very mindful that it is still hot as it just came out of the oven. Simply to finish this dish up, you wanna scoop out all these lovely garbanzo beans and tomatoes that have been baked with this chicken. Let the liquid drain off because you don't wanna get it too soupy in the bottom. Then we're gonna take our nicely sliced breast, lay that right on top, dollop of our yogurt sauce. It's gonna add 
a little bit of creaminess, substitute for fat, which we all love for flavor. And then we're going to mix our pickled red onions, which are just here. See, they've taken on a nice bright red color from the acid and the lime juice. They've got the flavor from the cumin in there. And a couple of fresh picked cilantro leaves. And then set that right on top. A nice Tandorian styled chicken dish with fresh cilantro and red onions. I'm Matt Bolas with the Art Institute of Charleston for postandcareer.com.